Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. This is another one of my favorite videos when we do the how many milk jug tests, shoot different cartridges and catch the bullets and see how many milk jugs it takes to catch the bullet. But chances are up on the channel, we've probably done your favorite caliber. If it's not in this video, it's probably another one. Go check it out on the channel after this video. But in this video, we're shooting two of my favorite powerhouse calibers that is the 300 wind mag and the 338 lapua magnum but here's the uh give you a side by side here the differences in the size definitely a lot of powder behind that 338 but the 300 wind mag is no slouch there either both of these big big rounds drop your deer elk real quick and even a long long ways away we've got a bunch of videos on both these calibers on the channel but we've never done this comparison between these two let me show you the ammo quick because I know you guys are gonna ask me the 338 Lapua we've got a 250 grain and the 300 wind mag we're shooting a what 180 grain so needless to say big big rounds both lots of power we shoot straight enough I know both of these will catch and are expanding hunting bullets so let's see what happens I don't even know what to guess I'm gonna say 300 wind mag if we can catch it four jugs 338 Lapua five jugs but keep your fingers crossed so we can shoot dead center catch these bullets let's go see what happens I'm gonna do the 300 wind mag first all right first shot with the 300 wind mag this is my Remington 770. We got a Boyd's Spike Camp stock on it. And what is this? Nikon P3. But let's see if we can shoot straight and catch this 300 wind mag in those jugs back there. Hopefully we can. That looked like a straight shot to me. Let's go check it out and see if we caught a bullet. We got a pretty straight shot on it. So, there's the first jug off to the left. Second one right there. Third one. We got a hole in the front a little bit off to the right there. And does it have a hole at the back? I don't think so. And looking down in there, I see a 300 wind mag bullet in there. That's uh, jug number four. So let's pour this one out here. I think I even guessed it correctly in the intro, if I'm not mistaken. Not much left of that. Look at that. That is definitely not 180 grains of lead, but that's where the, the majority of that bullet was caught in jug number four for the 300 wind bag. Let's go grab that 338 Lapua and see what kind of action we get out of that. I'll save that bullet so we can compare them. Oh, all right, now we got the big boy here. This is my Savage 110 BA Stealth and 338 Lapua Magnum. I got a mule deer with this rifle in Montana with my buddy Adventure Cowboy last year. If you haven't seen that video and you're into hunting, go check it out. I was smoking a mule deer with this rifle in 338 Lapua. But let's take one of these Normas for a ride. We got nine jugs over there. I think that's plenty to catch this. But uh, I think if we shoot it square, it should be expanding. But on this one, the only thing that it's not stuck is obviously the scope I slapped on here. This is a Nikon FX1000 24 power zoom. So we've also got videos shooting this rifle at a thousand yards if you want to check those out. But enough yapping. Let's uh, send this thing for a ride here. Hopefully we can catch this. Like I said, we've never tried this before.
that really exploded those hard. I don't know if we caught that or not, but I, that caused a much bigger explosion than the 300 wind mag. That water just turned to dust or whatever. Let's, uh, I don't know if we caught the bullet, but let's go check it out. It really felt like a straight shot, but I don't know that we caught it. So, jug number five is the first one there. So, there's jug bits way over there. There's jug bits way over there. Where's the first one? So there's jug number one. See where we hit it. Actually, a little bit up and right, so we might have to redo this one. A little bit of jacket there. And what I'm guessing is jug number four. But I think it veered off to the side. Hmm. I really want to try to catch the 338 Lapua, so. Let's give this one another go and just see what happens. We're running out of milk jugs out here today, but let's see if we can catch it. See if I can aim a little bit more dead center. I know that rifle's dead on, but we'll see what happens. All right, we're going to give it another go. We might have to do this at like two or 300 yards. These might just be zinging too much, way too fast at this distance, but let's see what happens. I hope we can catch it. Same thing, lots of real fine mist flying up everywhere, but I'm not sure that we caught it. Let's go check it out. But now we had, man, look at that, uh, grabbing that board up and breaking it. How many jugs did you say we had? Uh, we started at number three through nine. Three through nine. So there's the front one. So. They don't get any more center shot than that right there in the middle. So that should have been plowing right through the middle. But you can also see there's one, two, three, four that still have water in them. So let me grab these. There's number six. It's got no holes in it. I'll have to check out the slow-mo for what actually happened here because everything is such a mess. Now that's the one off the back that just... Yeah, that's number nine that just got pushed off the back. So, blew those milk jugs everywhere and off to the side and we didn't catch one. So, hmm. I did bring some used up gel that we haven't had used and shot in another video. Let's try to shoot some of this ballistics gel in slow motion and see if we can catch one of those bullets. It'll probably zing right through just like it did these, but I just want to do it, see what happens. So far, fail trying to catch those 338 Lapuas in the water jugs. All right, let's give it a whirl again. And Paul had the good idea to put the water jugs behind it that we got left. So maybe even if it zings through we got 36 inches of gel. We might still catch it in the water jug. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get some good footage on the slow-mo. Hopefully I can hit those. You think? I don't know what happened, but I don't think it went in the jugs at all. Well, it didn't go in the jugs. And uh, I think this is the first one. And that's the second one. Guess I'll have to go back and look at the slow motion to see what in the world happened. But we had already shot these before, so it's kind of hard to tell what is what. But I don't see a big old 338 Lapua Magnum round in there.
and I don't see one in there either. We might not have had the best angle on that one, but either which way, we should have got some good footage, at least on that first one, blowing up from that big old 338. All right, just kidding. Paul found that 338 Lapua Magnum bullet sitting there underneath where that gel was. So let's go put it next to that 300 wind mag. So that right there is the 338 Lapua 250 grain, what's left of a 250 grain bullet. And there is the 300 wind mag. But you can see there, there's just so much power on that 338 at that distance. It's more or less blowing it to pieces when we hit that gel. Hopefully we got some good slow motion, but that's what was left of the 338 at that short distance compared to the 300 wind mag. But thanks for watching the video today, guys. That was a lot of work trying to catch that 338. We caught the 300 wind mag easily. It took four jugs to catch it. But that 338 Lapua Magnum, it's got so much power. We're going to have to come up with another way to catch those Norma's 250 grainers. But thanks for watching the video today, guys, and hanging out with us at the range. A big shout out and a big thanks to the Heavy Metal channel. You guys go check them out and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the Hootie Hoo channel if you haven't already. Comment down below ideas for future videos. We'll catch you on the next one. Hootie Hoo!